All right, looks like we are live. Let me refresh. Oh, I just did that. Group. Good morning, everybody. Trying to refresh the group, make sure we're in there and everybody can hear us and see us. There we are. Cool. Let me tag everyone. Boom. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome. It is David Thomas, Mr. J. Woolwine. We are going to be giving you your, hey, what's up, Barbara? We're going to be giving you the next 10 minutes or so of motivation, inspiration, and education. We do this every week to hopefully inspire you and help you become a better version of yourself. So today we're going to be talking about success versus failure. All right. Success versus failure. Go and write that down. And uh, we're really excited to talk about this because th this subject on, you know, it's why some people are successful and other people fail. And so what, it, what, what is it really? It really separates those who have success versus everybody else. And, and this is the answer. And I want you to write this down because it's very important. The difference between those that yeah. fail and those that win is their perception and response to that failure. All right. I learned that from John C. Maxwell, amazing author. Definitely get in touch with, you know, definitely don't get in touch with him. I definitely get familiar with his, with, call him up. Definitely get hey, familiar John. <laughs> Definitely get familiar with his with his writings and his books because he, he he's a very very successful person and very smart. But um, yeah, it, it's the difference is from those who fail and those who succeed is their perception of that that you know the reception and the response to that failure. Right. So let's I mean let's look at an example of that. Right. So let's let's say you you lost your job right or you got divorced right so you lose your marriage and maybe you lost your business or whatever the case may be. Right. For some people they're out for a few months, right? That can be devastating. They get depressed, all those, you know, those emotions that come with those, those losses. But for, for us, right? For me, if you get knocked down, we don't do the nine count, right? <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means, but like if you've ever watched a fight like boxing or MMA, or whatever, like the referee comes in, he starts giving you a nine count, right? One, two, three, and then, on the ninth count, you know, the guy drags himself up off the ropes, right? And the, the referee looks at him. He's like, okay, you're good. And then he goes back out there and gets his clock cleaned, right? <laughs> so we're not doing the nine count, right? I like, you know, if you've ever, again, if you've seen a fight, like some of those guys get knocked down and they're like, boom, like they back up and they're like, let's go. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, and the referee's like, oh, hold on. Let me make sure you're okay. And so it's, that's how you have to react to life, right? We're up at the three or four, right? We're not waiting for the nine count, right? You got to get up faster. You have to recover quicker than the average person that's just that's just out there getting beat up, right? You have to realize that that's your perception or your response to that failure, right? That will determine whether you're going to succeed or fail. How long are you going to lay on the mat? Yep, so true, so true. So the question is, what is the single X factor that will multiply your results two times, five times, 10 times, right? That's what we want to go ahead and answer this morning and talk about. And let's start with what it's not, you know, not the magic factor that some people think. I mean, a lot of people think it's their mind. A lot of people think it's it's the company. You know, I know for me, wherever I go, whatever I do, I know I'm going to be successful. Why? Because number one, thoughts become things. And so I tell myself, I am an over, I'm, a, I'm an above average achiever, right? I'm an overachiever. I'm a champion. Uh, you know, at one time I wasn't, at one time I definitely was not, <laughs> you know, and we all had that time where you don't think you're worth a, a pile of steaming poop. But the point is you, you can't stay feeling that way. You can't, you have to tell yourself that you are meant for more, that you are blessed and that you will be successful. And you have to start talking to your, to yourself in that way in order to actually start feeling that way and start experience that good life that you want. Right. Yep. And like David said, I mean, the first big thing is your thoughts, right? And so you, you surround yourself with people who are successful, right? Maybe. So it's not the company, right? And in fact, it's not, not even the products, right? It's not even what, whatever you're selling or whatever you're doing, right? Those things are helpful, but guess what? That's not the X factor, right? It's not the compensation plan. I mean, it's, it's not how much they're going to pay you. It's, it's the people that hit ranks, and it may make it a little bit easier, right? 
it's definitely helpful, but it's not it's not the big the big factor, right? Let's be real. If I were to tell you guys, like those of you that are in our business, right? If I were to tell you that if you had 12 customers, like right now, if you have 12 customers, I think you could make $600, right? $600 a month, right? But if I was to tell you that you could make 5,000 a month for that same 12 people, how many people would go out and just bust it to get those 12 people, right? Not really that many more, right? <laughs> Cause they're, it's the people are either going to do it or not. It's not about the compensation plan or the company or whatever. They're just, they're just achievers, right? They're going to go do it, right? Because it's not the amount. It's not, it's just the certain people that choose to do it regardless of how much they get paid to do it, right? So it's not the company, it's not the products, and it's not the compensation plan. Yeah. I mean, you know, those things are all contributors, right? They're all helpful. But here's the answer. The answer between those who are successful and wealthy versus those who fail is you. It's called the you factor because it's your business. It's it's you. Yeah, exactly. It's you. It's your life. You know, uh, you affect other people's lives as well, whether that's positive in a positive manner or whether it's in a negative way, manner. You have that effect. So whether it's your business, whether it's your money, whether it's your health, whether it's your marriage, your relationships, you are the factor. You determine the success in that particular situation. You know, I determine whether I'm successful and happy or not. Of course, God plays a part in that, I truly believe. But we still have that responsibility that it is up to our mindsets and our efforts. And you can determine what kind of 2023 you want to have. Yeah. And so we've discovered through experience, right? And you've experienced this, that, that you're the creator of your outcome, right? Not your surroundings, not your circumstances, not your business associates. Associates. It's not, it's not your spouse, your significant other. It's not your family members, your siblings, right? You are the only one that impacts that. You're the creator of that outcome. So what we want you to work on is how to actually build you, right? Because you may say, yeah, Jay, I get that. But, you know, that totally makes sense for you, right? <laughs> You're the single X factor that determines your success. But guess what? My self-esteem isn't there, right? My self-ideal, my self-worth isn't that great, right? I don't feel good about myself. So I know there's some of you watching that maybe your self-esteem isn't there, right? And, but here's the good thing, right? It's how you start to build you, right? You got to start someplace and it's through building your skills. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have to develop that skill set, like Jay said, and, and that's what we help each other do and help the team do every single week. That's what we're trying to help you do right now, right? And you need to have some, first off, you got to have some product knowledge so you can actually have your own testimony, right? That you're, that you're learning and progressing in the skill. Right. If we're talking about trading, even if it's just on a on a practice account, you know, another one is attitude. You know, so a lot of you know, we talked about this before. Is attitude everything? You know, we did a session on this a couple of weeks ago. You know, it's not everything, but attitude is the difference maker because your attitude will determine your altitude. Right. Your attitude determines your altitude. So, you know, the, what's the most attractive thing in the world? What do you think it is? It's passion. Someone's passion. If somebody is passionate, you're just drawn to that person. It's magnetic. It's just, it's, it's hard not to want to be around them. Yeah. And passion, passion is like, it's the juice, man. It's the power behind it, right? What impacts people the most is your passion for life. People can feel your passion when you're doing things, right? That's why I say that passion is the juice. It's the power, right? Passion is the reason why we're here today, right? So passion is, is one of the keys that's going to help you become more successful, right? It's going to have have it's going to help you right succeed and you just have to have that passion and just continue to push forward to get more of it yeah and, and you need direction you need purpose listen you know when i was you know struggling and broke and you know uh dying in my restaurant i was still passionate because i was i was i knew that there was more to life than that right i was like there's got to be a better way so i didn't stop looking you guys can be passionate right now in whatever situation your life is right now you can choose to be passionate starting today no matter what rank you are no matter what your trading account says or do doesn't say right you can choose to be passionate right now because you know guys we love you we care about you we want you to get out there and crush it so keep working keep grinding and let's get there all right so hope you got value out of that we appreciate you um hope you have an you know, fantastic weekend. And uh, Jay, appreciate you, brother, as always. So we will see you all very soon. Take care. God bless. See you guys. Bye.